I think at this point it should be pretty widely accepted that when you have a phone that can open up into a full-fledged tablet, uh, you're probably in a situation that is more conducive to getting things done. Split screen, multitasking, or even running one app on a screen that large is going to be potentially more productive just because of that additional screen real estate. Now, what I'm going to cover in this video is how you can take that experience potentially up to another level, how you can use a phone like this, Pixel Fold, Z Fold, and basically turn it into a mobile productivity setup. Now, yes, I understand that many of us, most of us, if not all of us, would love nothing more than for, in particular, something like the Z Fold to give us that DeX interface on the screen itself, like we can do with a Galaxy Tab Samsung Y. Just let us do this. But I want to impress upon you guys that just because we don't have that interface, that doesn't mean that adding a mouse and keyboard to your backpack isn't going to substantially improve your productivity for specific tasks. All that being said, let's take a look at mouse and keyboard on the OnePlus Open, the Pixel Fold, and the Galaxy Z Fold. So we're going to start off with the OnePlus Open, but I'll also briefly show the Pixel Fold as well as my Galaxy Z Fold 4, just to sort of confirm for you guys that everything is uh, you know, functioning in, in effectively the same way. But we'll probably spend the majority of the time on the OnePlus Open just because I got to pick one. I'm not going to do all the same things over and over. So with this really simple uh, keyboard setup, I'm also using this Razer mouse Bluetooth as well. There's quite a few interesting things that you can do here. First thing I want you to notice is with the OnePlus device, the cursor is just this little dot. It's just like a little circle. I think that looks kind of interesting. It's odd, you know, when I'm used to seeing an actual like proper cursor. So straight away, what you're gonna wanna do to kind of familiarize yourself with this is hit your window key and then your slash key. And it's actually going to give you a list of different shortcuts that are available to you. And most of them, are going to be using that Windows key. Now, for some reason on the OnePlus Open, the Windows key normally fires up the Assistant. It's not actually doing that here for me, so keep that in mind. But if I'm on my home screen here, there's a few that we can already use, which is Control and A to open up my apps list. Let's do Windows and Enter to go back home, although I could have just as easily sort of clicked and drug that thing down. And then Control W is actually supposed to bring up widgets, but it, for whatever reason, is just sort of crashing <laughs> the, home, the launcher. So I don't think that's fully functional. Let's go back into our shortcuts again. And when you see the little search thing, that is the Windows key. So keep that in mind. A really cool one I think is the Alt tab that's gonna bring you into your recents, which I don't actually have anything running. So let's open up a few apps. So now if I hold down Alt-Tab, you'll see I'm going to be pulling up my recents. And what's cool about this is when I release it, it's going to just go into the one on the top right. Of course, you can also just pick one of them, and that's going to work just as well. Windows Enter to go back home. If you are in an app or even just on your home screen, Windows N will pull down your notification shade. Definitely a useful one to have there as well. And then you'll see there are some direct shortcuts to specific applications like your browser, email, and music. And that is done very simply by hitting the Windows key and then that particular key to launch your music application, to launch your browser. A C will actually launch the calculator, strangely enough, in a floating window. And then I'm not gonna do email because I don't wanna show you my emails, but Windows and then E would do that just as well. I also discovered that Windows and then A will take a screenshot, which I'm going to delete because I don't actually need that screenshot. And then of course, no matter where you end up being, if you have a place where you're going to be typing, you can type and do all of you know the same sorts of shortcuts that you would normally do with a keyboard. You can copy, you can paste, all that stuff works just fine. Also note that when you're over a text field, it turns into a vertical line instead of being that bubble. The back buttons on uh, the mouse seem to work back and I don't think forward does anything but back definitely does so a lot of this stuff works really really quite well there are some things that I wish it was a little bit better at like how cool would it be 
if you had shortcuts to move between your open canvas. Like, let me give you an example. We've got two apps open. Let's go ahead and grab a third. We want to do a floating window. Like, how cool would it be if we were able to expand all of these and maybe there was like a shortcut that was like control one, two, three to quickly jump between these open applications. That would be really, really nice. Now, granted, it's pretty darn easy to do this with your mouse to move between these open apps. It actually works really quite well, but it would be nice if there was some sort of a shortcut to do this. So now what I want to do, because I think I've kind of shown you everything that, you know, works with the OnePlus Open, we're going to swap it out for these other devices, and I'm just going to kind of show you that it works pretty much the same there as well. All right, so we've paired with the Pixel Fold, and one thing you can see is that the cursor is a different cursor, but again, like I said, these shortcuts are going to be exactly the same, and in fact, we're going to have the same shortcut to pull up a list of shortcuts, system, input, open apps, current apps, this is actually doing a better job of going through all of the different shortcuts than the OnePlus Open is. Maps is definitely one that worked, and the other one I forgot to show you. SMS is S, so that's pretty cool. Looks like most of these are pretty much exactly the same. Alt-Tab is showing actually a very different layout. That's interesting. It's a different... How strange is that? Let's open up a couple of applications here. We'll try that again. That is a different layout. That looks almost, almost looks like Windows or something for an app switcher. That is pretty interesting. And of course, you could open up an application. You have to do a little short drag up and then grab the second one. All of this stuff is just fine. If not slightly awkward, definitely fully functional. We'll use the keyboard to do that. I think I've kind of proven that. Let's Grab the Z Fold and we'll do the same there. All right, and it looks like Samsung has their own cursor as well. Everyone kind of doing their own thing. Here's the shortcut list and they're doing this a little bit differently as well. Not nearly as many shortcuts actually being listed there, but they are still there. Command plus W. Of course, <laughs> not gonna launch Dex actually on the device, but you can see all of the stuff is working exactly as it works on the other devices, no problem at all. And I think that when it comes to these larger screen foldable devices, things like this make much more sense than they do on other devices. To me, the idea of using a mouse and keyboard on something like a normal phone just kind of is nonsense, it's kind of useless to me. Using it on something like this, I think would actually make a decent amount of sense, especially when you consider that you can get pretty decent keyboards that fold up to be quite small. And in fact, if you really want to take this concept to its like final level, use something like the Arc Mouse from Microsoft. And you know, you could potentially have like that right there, like in a bag, or I guess this in a bag and this in your phone. And you've got a pretty capable little workstation there. So guys, I was pretty impressed with how well a mouse and keyboard actually works with OnePlus's open canvas. Like I said, I would love for there to be like keyboard shortcuts. How cool would that be to be just flying through those different applications in open canvas using a keyboard shortcut? But even still, just dragging that little dot around and clicking where you want to go is going to work just fine. And likewise, with the Pixel Fold, swiping up to get your taskbar is probably the biggest barrier, but that seemed to be fairly reliable while I kind of played around with it. I would love, though, to be able to have a consistent taskbar, which I guess if you really want to, just switch to the button layout. And that probably works better for you anyways in terms of navigation. You just have a home button instead of having to click and then drag up. So something to consider there as well, switching to the button layouts. If you plan on doing this, putting this you know, sort of set up in your backpack, I will drop a link in the description to some of the things that I used or at least a keyboard that is very, very similar. Of course, there'll be affiliate links. So keep that in mind if you want to support the channel. Those will be down there. Let me know, do you use something like this already? What is your setup? What is your use? case. Again, let me know in those comments, guys. I'll see you on the next one. And until next time, stay nerdy. Bye.